Stampers, it's Jackie Ballheis with Clumpin' Stampers. I am here today to share this fun fold card with you. Yes, Jackie doesn't do very many fun fold cards, but I'm kind of trying to make a commitment to myself to do Fun Fold Friday. So you can look forward to, I hope, um, a fun fold every Friday and maybe by me telling you that it'll hold myself accountable so anyhow this is our first one for fun fold Friday and we are using the fabulous flamingo set and this was new in the catalog this year and I fell in love with it right away it was just so fun and the fact that it is actually a three-step stamp and that's where you can get a lot of dimension without a whole lot of work so I have several tips to show you along with the fun fold um, so let's take a peek at the full card here. It opens like a normal card this way, but then you'll see in the inside is a whole nother card that's going to open up that way. So that's what I'm calling my fun fold. Now I will have all of the dimensions in the description of the video, as well as a link to the blog post that will show you close up pictures of the card um, and all of the products and dimensions that I used on it. So I'm not gonna kinda go through all the cutting and all that, cause that'll be on the blog, but basically it's just a card within a card, um, getting a little bit smaller as we go. I use my oval thinlet, layering oval thinlets to um, cut the circle in the center. And what I want to show you and concentrate on this video is some tips for stamping this flamingo because I kind of struggled with it a little bit um, and also a little peek at what I did on the water. So one thing I'm going to teach you from my mistakes, I goofed like three times trying to make this card because I always wanted to stamp it this way. It's very weird and awkward to make sure when you're stamping your fold is over here on the right side. So you've been warned okay so we're gonna set that down there now notice I have my paper piercing pad with just a piece of scrap paper on top of it um, photopolymer stamps you always want to use this pad underneath to give it a little bit of cushion because you are not getting that from the red rubber so of course we have to use flirty flamingo ink when we're stamping a flamingo and like I said this is a three-step guy. So the easiest way, and this is just me, the order of stamping these, was to start with a very bold one, and it doesn't have legs, but I was able to place it. Um, you know, I actually just set it in here, and I thought, okay, we're about in the middle, about right here is where I wanted kind of his head to be. So you don't have to be real picky about it. So I'm gonna ink this up in the Flirty Flamingo, but I want this first one to be a lighter shade. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp it on scrap paper first, and then we'll stamp it onto our card base. Okay, with photopolymer, I like to hold it a little bit longer as I'm stamping and give that ink some good time to transfer off. Then stamp number two is this guy, okay? He's got some more detail that we're gonna add to the flamingo as well as the legs. Now, this time, same ink pad, flirty flamingo, but we're gonna go straight off the pad. And because of it being photopolymer, I can see right through it and I can, I'm kind of using a few points of reference, the beak down here around the end, um, his neck, the bottom of his body, kind of a shadow with my lights here, so we'll see how how we do. So again, give it some good pressure, pop it off, and bam, I'm right on on that one. That's actually better than my sample. So there is stamp number two. Now, stamp number three is all the detail, and I stamped it in black. Okay, we'll take a peek here again, because I really wanted that flamingo to pop. Now, to be honest, I am usually not a picky stamper, and I always tell people, don't worry about it. You can eyeball it good enough. But I kind of struggled eyeballing this one and it looking right. So I decided to pull out my stamp -a jig Now, stamp -a jig is awesome. I don't use it a lot because like I said, I'm not really picky for the most part, but this one I just had to do it. So you get a bonus here and tips on using the stamp -a jig um, It's a tool, mine is very, very old. I've had this probably for 20 some years, but it will help you place the stamp exactly where you want it to be. So we're gonna go through the steps to do that. So all you need to do is take your stamp -a jig okay, it's like a little T, and you'll get this plastic that comes with it, and you're going to put it nice and tight into this corner, okay? It fits in there. It's thick enough that it'll stay right there. Then take the stamp that you are going to stamp onto your card and what you want perfectly placed and stamp it on the plastic, making sure your block is tight in that same corner. So I'm just going tight to the top and to the left 
and stamp it right down there on that plastic. So you can see our image on there. Now all I need to do is grab where I'm going to stamp my card here and I can see through this and I can move this around till I find that perfect spot. Okay, Right there is where I want it to stamp. So I'm going to hold this down, going to grab the stamp -a jig again, come back up here, place it right tightly in that corner like we did before. I can move my plastic and make sure you hold that really tight. Don't let your card move and don't let the stamp -a jig move. Have ink up your stamp. I probably should have done that first. Now again, stamp it tight to the top and to the left and come straight down. We can move the stamp -a jig give it some good pressure so we get a nice black image, and voila, we have the perfectly placed um, body of the flamingo. Now I did the exact same process with the legs to make sure those lined up perfectly. I'm not gonna do that on here because I like to keep my video short, um, but you can figure it out same way. Now, the other thing I wanna show you before I end here is the water. And this is a stamp that just has these little swirly lines. And I thought I would use Bermuda Bay for it because I just, I love these colors together. So here's our water stamp. And I'm gonna just ink this up. And we're gonna stamp it a few times. We'll flip it this way. We want his feet in the water. We wanna get a little height there and a little bit down there. And then what I wanna do right away, don't wait too long, take a blender pen and I am just smearing it right over those lines. And there's enough ink there, and it didn't dry yet, that it just smears a little bit. And that just gives us kind of a nice little watercolor look. But I just added a little bit of dimension to that water. So those are all the tips I have for you, because the rest of you, you add the leaves, add the, um, the little grasses down in the water. And then in the inside, I wanted some fun words, so I grabbed my Colorful season stamp set and the May All Your Tomorrows Be As Happy As Today. This card is just inserted inside of that card. Black um, cardstock here with some white embossing on it. I love that look, it makes those words pop. Tied a ribbon on there and bam, there is our fi Friday Fun Fold card. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. I am here to help you with all your stamping needs. If you're looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored to be that person. Let me know if you need a catalog. I'd be happy to send you one. And if you'd like to place an order, my link will be down in the description of the video, and I would really appreciate that. So again, check out my blog. I will have a link in the description that will give you all the dimensions so that you know how to do this fun fold. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a stamp happy day.